So Jerry, we're going to take care of that tooth on top that we've done the endodontic work on last time. Okay. And uh, we're going to get ready for a crown, okay? Alrighty. Uh, Suzanne, I think I'll just need about one ml of okay. Neutra. Thank you. So one of the things I like to do is I, I cut a cotton roll in half uh, just because we're going to be taking advantage of the CO2 micro bubble. I like to put a half of a cotton roll way in the back just in case that fluid or liquid kind of drips back. Uh, turn this way. And again, the CO2 micro bubble, the syringe there, uh, will actually uh, penetrate right through the mucosa and it acts as my topical anesthetic. And our expectation is that Jerry will feel virtually nothing, if nothing at all. And Jerry tends to be a very sensitive guy, believe it or not. Mm -hmm. So, and we'll see. Just putting the CO2 micro bubble right on the surface of the tissue. I'm knowing that the tooth is about 21 and a half millimeters long naturally. I'm kind of planning right at where the um, the mucosa meets the the uh, loose tissue, the attached gingiva, and I'm just letting that sit there. It's suggested that the CO2 micro bubble penetrates the mucosa in about seven to 10 seconds. Um, because the system works so efficiently, I figure waiting another 10 to 15 seconds isn't a big deal. And I'm already placing the solution in the tissue. It's a very slow drip, drip, drip going through my box. There's no reason to make it a rush. I don't want really to get too far up in the vestibule. No reason to inject up there. We're using less material, and therefore we don't need to fill the vestibule. We just want to fill the apex where the root is. You might have just heard that little heptic sound of the syringe clicking. That lets me know that it's drip by drip. It's I do this over the course of about 30 to 45 seconds. You doing okay, Jerry? Mm-hmm. Any discomfort? Mm-hmm. The transition from the traditional injection techniques is that you, it, you do have to remind yourself to slow down a little bit. And again, obviously we don't use the same volume of material. I've only used a half an ml so far pretty much wrapping it up here. Withdraw the needle. Now what we're going to do unique, even though we don't have to do it, um, I'm going to put a little bit of anesthetic on the roof of the mouth. Obviously we all know that, that the uh, roof of the mouth is a very tender spot to numb somebody up. So. We'll see how the Anutra works in that position. Again, I'm going to dry the tissue off. Jerry, do you mind if you lean in your head back just a little more? There you go. Good. And I'm going to use a little cotton roll again. I don't want it to drip down his, his throat at all. I still have a half an ml of anesthetic and again just a little drop of material I don't know if you can see that little bubble on the tissue there I'm just letting it soak okay and now a little bit of medicine going in Jerry how are you doing mm -hmm. It's just a drip, drip, drip. And most importantly is you just do not want to inject fast on the palate. Obviously there's just no room for that fluid to go. So just let it drip. You doing okay? Mm-hmm.
and I probably have about two minutes into this injection. But the beauty is he's, he's probably already numb, I'm taking it out. And I use less than 0.75 mLs. So pretty, pretty uh, efficient with the material so we're not wasting it. Again, a normal carpule is about 1.8 mLs. So we use less than half of that. Okay, Jerry. How'd that feel on the roof of your mouth? Good. Did you do a shot there? I did. I did. I actually did not feel it. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's the whole point of a neutra. Is we're, we're trying to make your system accept that anesthetic and not hurt so much. Is it worth, the, worth the trip to the dentist? It's all numbing now. Good. Good. And we hardly used any of this. I can't believe it. I didn't feel a shot. Yeah. That's pretty nice. Good. Again, he is a tough guy, so. <laughs> Oh, uh, right. thanks for the compliment. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get to work.